So in this video, I just want to talk about how you're going to hit the long irons, your hybrid, your fairway woods so much better and get more out of them. And the way you're going to do this, you're just going to practice a very simple drill. Now, what you do, take a, hold the club out in front of you, turn it 90 degrees, so like so, so it's parallel towards the floor, and then you position both hands like so. So I'm holding one hand at the top of the grip, the other hand at the bottom of the grip, but both of my hands are facing this way. So not turning one over, both pointing so palms are facing towards you. Now if I sort of stand to the side, the reason why this exercise I think is so simply good is because what we're trying to do is we're going to try and make sure that we're going to be moving the club like so. Okay, so can you see the way that the club is just dropping down on towards the back of the golf ball? Now this would seem very, very simple and very, very obvious, but I would say 90 odd percent of golfers that I meet really struggle with this. And what they tend to do is they tend to move more this way. See the way the club is now moving out more in front of me. The reason why this happens is because too many golfers associate good contact or improved contact with excessive body rotational movement. And that basically means instead of understanding to get a good contact on the back of the ball. You watch this club now, you'll see the way that, yes, I am rotating and I'm moving my body, but can you see the way that as I'm trying to get my hands to move upward, like so, can you see the way the club will then drop downward? So that's how I'm gonna get good contact. My hands going up, my head staying still, and then like so. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep doing this sort of drill, just bringing it down to this position here so you guys can see. Now. The reason why this is so important is because when you move like this, this is gonna help you control your angle of attack and it's gonna help you control your club path, which basically means, again, you can see this sort of drill here. If I do it slowly, see the way it's bringing the club down nicely on plane. Yes, I'd need to practice squaring the club face with an element of rotation, but you can see the complete difference between this type of motion. And when golfers move this way, this is a big problem, okay? Because yeah, you can hit your long irons like that, but obviously what's gonna happen is you're gonna hit it really low, you're not gonna get any distance. And the key thing is you need to understand what you're doing is with the hands. You need to make sure you're shaping your hands as I'm demonstrating here. See the way my hands are moving over the ball and then they're moving up. And then as they're moving over and up, that's what allows the club to drop down on the back of the ball, which is gonna help you do a couple of things which are really important for long lines. The first one is, it's gonna stop you, should we say, striking excessively down, but it's also gonna help you control the club path. Both of those things are key when it comes to being able to get good results with the longer clubs. So don't stress too much about it, just practice this type of drill and just all you're trying to do is understand that as your hands go up in this direction, the club would drop down on the back of the ball. And also, as you can see in my body, this type of move is brilliant. You can see the way it drops my shoulder down, and then you can start to recreate that feeling with an element of bravery, like so. So it drops the club on the back of the golf ball, and you're on to an absolute winner. Let me know how you get on.